All right, I'm going to take everyone on a little walk through Nourish. This is the <clears throat> beginning or end, depending on the way you think of it, uh, of the park. This is the Wi Wi blah, 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 Wi Fi area, free Wi Fi zone, right here. See, they reuse everything. So tires or chairs, whatever that used to be, is now a table. Pallets. It's really cool. So we'll come out here. <clears throat> There's one of the entrance exit gates. One on. This is one of the <clears throat> gardens that's empty right now because they're moving it somewhere else. Here is another garden. This is their Moringa garden. Uh, the bigger trees over there are Moringa trees that they use for... Um, medicinal purposes and uh, shade etc very cool we ended up uh, watering these the other day so it's very pretty and we're gonna go on a little walk this is going into the village this is the <clears throat> water tank that they use to water the garden it's one of the uh, rain collection systems they have. <laughs> Here's another one of their gardens and chicken keeper areas. We'll get up to the chickens here in a second. <clears throat> There are the chickens. So they use the eggs for them <clears throat> to feed the kids and the preschool kids. Um, Alright, so now we're getting into the middle of the village. Scrap, compost. Most of what they use for everything here, they use everything they can find. So this is one of the kitchens. This is the granny kitchen, I believe. And they use bottles and then pour the sand. They compact sand and everything over here. <clears throat> and that's how they build a lot of their walls and infrastructure. So now... That's Divine's garden. That's the garden we were in the other day. Planting the spinach and jalapenos. And that was a lot of fun. That was very, very fun. So that's the garden where they feed. They try to, they're going to grow, and each bed is a different vegetable. And what they want to be able to do is feed all of the kids and the, play school, the preschool kids and be able to make it completely sustainable so they don't have to rely on going out and buying food for, um, for nourishment, for food. It's another water tank. Here's one of the, the Nourish car. She's very cool. I like this a lot. Very cool bug. This is the creche playground or preschool playground where the little ones come in and play every day at 8 o'clock, which they should be here soon as it's 7 o'clock. Oh, see, it spells Nourish in cans. Which is neat. So then we're going to go over here. They make these uh, wire art <clears throat> sculptures. And they fill it with cans and bottles and aluminum. As much as they can. A lot of storage out here. are, um, And also rooms. Are the big storage tanks. That's the gift shop. Right there. Which I'll be visiting later. <clears throat> so then we're going to go down here. Most seats are made out of tires. That's their, again, this is one of their classrooms. Uh, you can see it's a storage bin, storage facility. I don't know what you call those. I forget what those are called. But that's their classroom that they painted. And then, do 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 do. Gonna go down here a bit.
another th cool thing we were taught <clears throat> while we were here. This is African leaf. So when you're out in the bush and you don't have toilet paper, this is very, very soft. Um, they use it as bush toilet paper. Very cool. Okay, so we're coming up on the <clears throat> on the library. This is where a lot of the after-school programs and other extracurricular, even for adults too, they're having a um, a business class here this week. This is the library. So this is where a lot of the activities happen uh, for the kids and adults. It's a big meeting center. Uh, you'll see pictures of it on the inside. Trampoline, uh, general meeting area over here. And then, do, 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 do. So that's this area. Bathrooms over there. And then we're going to go back into the main camp where we all stay. And that's where breakfast is being served right now. Let me get a quick... Okay. Alright, so now <clears throat> we're walking back into our community where everyone stays and eats and sleeps. There's Paul's Bucky and their car. So to the right are the tents and the kitchen. To the left is the bar social pool area. There's Harris down there. Harris, wave hi, buddy. <laughs> Come on, wave hi. This is the pool table and bar area. And here. So that's the bar area. And again, one of their walls is made out of cans. There's Daisy, the donkey who thinks she's a dog. Daisy! She's a good girl. Yeah, there's Onyx, the alpha, who herds Daisy. <laughs> Hi, Onyx. Hi, Daisy. Hey. <laughs> they play together. Daisy grew up as one of the dogs, so that's why she thinks she's a dog. This is These are called eco-bricks. So what they do is they take the water bottles and they pack them and pack them and pack them and pack them and they take the mud and the dirt and put it over here to let it dry and it creates a uh, eco wall which is very cool and then these steps are made out of tires filled with dirt. So in here is the library reading area. It's very nice. Over there there's curtains made out of bottle caps. We'll walk over there. More eco bricks for a seat around the fire. So the curtains are made from bottle caps. And they string each one of them together. And it makes eco curtains. Very cool. Very neat. So now I hear us. Oh gonna go over to the pool area. Hi Daisy. Where's a good girl? You a good girl? Yeah? Yeah? Hello. <laughs> Alright, so now we're gonna go to the pool area. This is their eco pool. Sorry if it's a bit shaky. Alright, so here's the eco pool. And you can see they have filters and chlorine, and it is very clean, minus the some bugs that get in there. But we're in Africa. It is what it is. So now we're going to go over here. And we are going to go to the kitchen where there is breakfast. Nom, 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 nom. This is the tour van that takes the kids on trips and takes everybody out and into the community. So they have a safe transport through the community. the kitchen. So there's two areas where you can stay in here. One of which are these huts that are very nice. 
Here's the wall to the kitchen, the window kitchen. Some more huts. Oh, morning guys. There's more huts. And then if we go into the kitchen. Oh, let me show you the kitchen. So this is the kitchen. And the floor is also made from bottle caps, beer bottle caps, water bottle caps. Yeah. Good morning. <laughs> Pantry, kitchen, where we have breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day. And then we'll go to the, the bathroom. Do, 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 do. And we're going to go around this way. The water system for the sinks. They share water between everything. These are the bathrooms, and each building has a really interesting mural on it. So I'll show you this one. It's very pretty. That's that. So then. Yes, dear? Oh, we've been uh, looking at bugs and trying to identify all the bugs around here. Some of them are really, really big. Bathroom. Sinks to wash your hands in. And then these are the shower area. Do, 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 do. Cool showers. Very nice showers. This is where there's some massive stuff in it. Oh, good. That's great. <laughs> that makes me want to take a shower. <laughs> Keep going. Come on. we got to finish the tour. And then there's Paul's tent. And then we'll go to our tent. So it's another bathroom. Washing machines. It takes a few days to do laundry. Uh, so they plant plants in these also. And we'll go over here. And this is where we have been sleeping for a week. Staying, sleeping. That is my tent. Harris, can you hold this up? Hold that, make sure it doesn't spill. The top's not on right. So these is where we've been staying. I'll open mine up. Don't judge me because it's messy. So that's where we've been staying. I spilled coffee on the bed earlier. Whoopsie. Um, so yeah, we have power. We have fans. Mosquito netting that obviously I haven't used yet. Uh, so that's that. And then... Coffee, 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 coffee. Yeah. And that's the staff tent area, another uh, rain collector water cooler. And this is Harris, Phoebe's, and Dermot's tent area. And then there's music. They play really good music out here. Really good people out here. And then Harris and Phoebe, or just kidding, Dermot and Phoebe, <laughs> are working out with Onyx. Hi, buddy. No. And that is mostly, I will take you to one other place. There's one other place you guys have to see. So here we have Mona. Hi, Mona. She's the... No, that's not Survivor. Hi, Mona. Oh, hello. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good girl. Yeah, it's a good girl. That's Mona. She's a little skittish. And then through here, this is the way the kids walk to and from nourish to school every single day. The onyx. <laughs> and so we're going to walk through here. And I'll show you one other thing. Oop. Good morning. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, over here, what they've got more stars. Oh, there he is. Come, buddy. Okay. Okay. I got one last place, and that's it. 
So this path, it's about a 15, 20 minute walk up to the, where are the barrels? You can see the water barrels up there. That's where the school is. So after school, every single day, these kids, one of the adults, Martin, goes and picks them up, walks up here, gathers all the kids, brings them back down so they can, so they're able to come to Nourish for extra time to learn and learn English, learn about the world and everything else. So this over here, Harris, where's the garden? Oh, it's over here. Okay. So there's another agriculture, permaculture garden, sorry. That's right over there beyond that sign. That was the, that sign there was for, is for Lilo, one of the dogs that they found in a maize bag. Maize is corn. And uh, she got bitten by a cobra and passed, so she's buried there right in front of the garden. But there's a uh, permaculture garden over there. And over here, it's really interesting. So this is the, uh, it's just art that they used with Heineken bottles. And it's very, very interesting and pretty. Very cool way to use trash uh, to make art. Very neat. So, that's it. Pardon? Oh, and then we got some fruit down here. I wonder what that is. Maybe watermelon? Could be. So they grow a lot of crops out here as well. So that is the whole of Nourish. And I hope that some people are able to come out here and support Nourish and support the kids and support the community because it's well worth it. And what they're doing here is absolutely a necessity for these communities. So I suggest you look it up, come over here, watch it, support them, just like I did, we did this week. Right, buddy? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, signing off. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour.